Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to this episode of Veterans Rise. I'm your host, Dwayne Moore. On this episode, we're gonna be speaking with our guest, Yolanda Mayo. We're gonna be talking about her car, which you see right behind me. It is a 2017 Maserati Ghibli. I think I'm saying that right. And of course, at the end of the episode, we're gonna be taking it out for a spin. So, a little bit about our guest. She is currently active duty with the US Navy. She has been in for 18 years, and she has done seven overseas deployments. She is the rank of an E7, which is a chief petty officer. And what her rate or job is in the Navy is personal specialist. And basically on the civilian side of the house, that would be human resources. What they do is they take care of the sailor's paperwork and handle their pay. So that is a little bit about our guest. Let's go ahead and welcome her to the show. Yolanda, please come on down. Hey, thank you for being, uh, being on the show. I really appreciate it. Hi, thank you for having me. So I uh, gotta ask, uh, what was it about this car? Why did you pick this car, you know? I picked this car actually because I fell in love with it at first sight. You know, I was in Dubai and coming out of a hotel, it was sitting there and I just was stuck, I froze. I really froze and I just saw myself in it. And from that point forward, I knew it was my dream car. So. Yeah, and that's a really nice story because uh, when you hear a story about somebody that saw a car, they like the car, they work hard towards it. That's normally a, like a, a guy or a man story, right? So it's nice to hear it from a woman's perspective because women are car fans too, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, so I understand that aspect of it, but uh, was were there any other reasons why you picked this over the other European luxury car makers like BMW and uh, Mercedes-Benz? Yes, majority of those cars are all common. You see yeah. them everywhere, mm -hmm. and you know there's no real uniqueness to them. This one, it sets itself apart from all of them. You know, locally you don't very you don't see them very often. You know, and when you do, it catches your eye. And uh, yeah, that's one of the things that I'm attracted to is for the fact that it's unique. Uh, how often do you drive this vehicle? Not as often. It's not an everyday vehicle. You know, I have a Jeep Wrangler which I use every day. Uh, this one, I pretty much take it out when I need to, or if I'm in a hurry and I need to get somewhere. Um, but for the most part, it's just kind of like my show-off car. I, you know, when I want to celebrate something. Yeah, yeah, like uh, being on this episode. <laughs> being on this episode. Yeah. So like, so, <laughs> yeah. so like a like it's like a weekend car yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. I try right. to keep the mileage down. Yeah, I, and I understand. I understand why you wouldn't want to drive a car like this, uh, like every day. You know. Um, just like you don't wear like a fancy dress every day, right? Oh, right. Or something like that. Uh, all right, so at this time, let's go ahead and uh, take a closer look at the vehicle. All right, I, this is my car. And there's a couple things about the front that I do like. Uh, one of the things that I like is uh, the, the lights at nighttime. They look like eyes at night, mean eyes. Um, but another thing is, is that I like the detail with the Maserati put their marker in, of course, to identify. Um, another thing that I like is the grill. It has a little bit of a Knight Rider feel to it. You know, if any of you are familiar with the show Knight Rider, you know, this is my kit. Uh, lastly, I do uh, like the Maserati, the emblem. You know, it has a little red theme kind of going with it throughout the vehicle. So the red to offset the black is a nice touch. For the tires, I have Pirelli P0 all season tires sitting on 20 inch black rims. Uh, it added feature that I like is the red calipers, which goes along with the red theme that I was speaking about earlier, which also has the Maserati logo. Here we have the engine bay. We have a 3.0 liter twin turbo V6 engine built by Ferrari. One of the intricate details that I like about the engine itself is that Maserati had put their logo all throughout the engine. We're on the inside of the vehicle now. Um, there are a bunch of things about it that I do like. One, that this car is a Nerissimo edition, and that's one of the main reasons why I purchased it in the first place. It's one of 450 cars made of this type throughout North America. All black sports seating with red cross stitching, which also speaks to the red theme throughout the vehicle. And then, you, know, you have your sport mode, which I also like to call my turbo button. Your sport steering wheel aluminum paddles along with aluminum pedals. One of the things that I like most about this vehicle is the sexiness and curviness of the C-pillar. 
uh, it doesn't have that boxiness feel like a lot of other vehicles. It just kind of smoothly rolls into the body. Uh, another thing that we have here is the Trident, which is the Maserati logo, which represents strength and vigor. Here in the back part of the vehicle, we have the Maserati chrome plated lettering, along with the vehicle type. All right, so it is that time of the show, my favorite part of the show, which is where we go and take this car out for a spin. So let's go ahead and get going. so here we are we're on the road and normally the first thing I do is step on the gas and just go right past the chase car uh, but this car has normal mode and sport mode so we're gonna go to this quiet street that I know of and we're gonna check that out right now So let's go ahead and see what sport mode is about. Oh yeah, there's that, there's those twin turbos. You, you feel the difference right there in sport mode. Oh yeah, okay, let's slow down. <laughs> yeah, there is, um, substantial difference in sport mode uh, that there's just you know I don't know how they do it but there's just that extra horsepower there maybe they change the fuel curves or something but and it definitely holds it in the high rpm range uh, for a lot longer so yeah I, I would keep this car in sport mode honestly <laughs> I'm just I kidding. Do <laughs> you do <laughs> there goes your gas mileage <laughs> yeah. it's like uh, about to get on the freeway check <laughs> I gotta admit, the first time I saw the car, I actually thought it was way smaller than actually. It's like a sport compact car. But now that I've been in interior and I've been driving it around for a little bit, it's not. It's like a mid-sized car or maybe even a full-sized car and it's got enough room for your uh, friends and family. Hey, uh, I just gotta ask, um, I know this is an eye-catching car on the road, but do people try to race you? All the time. Uh, this it, majority of the people who are trying to race me are, are guys, obviously. But I think the one thing that I, was funny one time I had a motorcycle pull up and really? he wanted to, <laughs> and he kept telling me to, you know, do this bit. And I tried to ignore him. I had my mom in the car, and at the end of the day, you know, I had to do it. So. <laughs> you, you were forced to race the kind of motorcycle. Yeah, yeah, I like that. My mom doesn't want to be in this car so much anymore yeah yeah oh wow that's yeah I, I can imagine it, it's weird that you that you have a motorcycle racing story because <laughs> I, I don't know i just don't think cars normally race motorcycles yeah, yeah yeah all right another question that comes to mind is uh how fast have you taken this car <laughs> i've gone up to hey, yeah that, that's pretty fast <laughs> that's pretty fast and you can't tell yeah, it's, it's hard to tell. Uh, you you felt it was stable. It wasn't. Yeah, there's uh, no shaking. There's no nothing. It holds. It's you know, and it can. It has the capability to even do more. You know, and with that stability, you don't feel like if I get too fast, I'm gonna lose some sort of control. It doesn't do that for you. It, it's snug. It's tight. It's nice, and you really need to make sure you keep an eye on the speedometer because you don't know how fast you're going until you're going fast. Yeah, I can see that in this car that once you get going, especially in the freeway, yep. and if there's nobody around you to gauge how fast you're going, mm -hmm. you and can... And you get that urge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I felt it earlier in sport mode. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, because the, it's primarily because it can hold its speed. You know, it. You know, I don't think even going 150 is going to make you feel any kind of vibration like, whoa, you know, I'm going too fast. No, you got to be cautious of that. 
So this car is a real nice balance of luxury and sport. You know, it's got the paddle shifters here that don't move when I move the steering wheel. <clears throat> it's got the sporty seats and I feel good driving it even though I've only been driving it for a little bit, uh, you know, a little period of time. I do, I like the, for me, that's where it, one of the things that I was looking for. You know, I wanted the sport feel, but it definitely gives me the sophistication that I want when it comes to getting on the road. And you know, it's an attention getter, but they also know that the car means business. Yeah, and I love the black on black. Yeah. Look, I'm a big oh, fan yeah. of the color black. I mean, yeah. <laughs> look what I'm wearing. There are vehicles that definitely need to be black, and this is one of them. Yeah, and, and of course the red stitching that we pointed out earlier. So this is a really nice color combination. I really enjoy it. All right, well, that concludes today's episode. Just like always, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. And before we go, I just got to say, Thank you for being in the show. Thank you for letting me drive your car and step yeah, on it. Yeah. It was it was my pleasure, my honor. Yeah, it's a definitely uh, definite blast. Um, all right, so uh, we'll see you guys next time.